Welcome back for part 84 of my Creeping Death Let's Play campaign. So we're at the start of a new turn, turn 113, and first order of business, I think, is looking at the Chaos Armies and thinking about when they're going to be attacking me, which is very soon. So, this guy, because of this river, is two turns out from getting to us, also likely to come blow up Essen, probably. And this one's going to have his hands full with uh, rats next turn, so probably not an immediate concern. And I think that the minus Gaben factions go before Chaos, let's see here. Oh no, they don't. Oh, I'm glad I checked this. I just assumed that they did. So Chaos go... I guess that makes sense, because Chaos are a playable faction, like a major faction. So they go at the end of the... Yeah, that's right, they go at the end of the playable factions. Okay. Nice. So I think because of that, I want to try and block this army. Make sure he's still standing here, if the Skaven do want to have a crack at him. I've got three heroes in the three Chaos armies, so I guess the math isn't that complicated after all. Beyond your comprehension. <laughs> I think based just on the number of sort of lighter units in this army, this is maybe one of the weaker Let's ones. Let's get stabby. Got a decent block chance, which is good. Okay. Yes, boss. Yeah, let's make a block attempt against this guy, but maybe take a wonder up this way. There are more chaos armies around. I just don't know quite where they've gone. Buildings and commandments ten on chaos corruption. Okay, that sounds like there's a chaos army encamped up here, maybe. All oh, right, we can see the. Yeah, the like chaos gate or rune, whatever here. So this was blown up by somebody. Right. Okay. Well, we can't get as far t as to actually spot what's going on there, but that is good to know. All right. We failed that block attempt. That's fine. What do you want? Um, which way do we want to scout here? Maybe south. Okay, Manfred's back there. Well, we can deal with him, I think. Oh, we failed the block there. Okay, that's too bad. Well, so, yeah, I say it's too bad just because this Chaos Army can now come down and maybe attack Vodenhof or do something else rather than being stuck here. But the Skaven, they may still end up fighting the Skaven. We'll, we'll see. Okay, so Manfred is desperately trying to re-recruit troops. I think they have, yeah, military presence wands so that have got They've got somebody in Needling. I think it was the general who survived Stitchup's attack at uh, the Moot. So that's just him. And he forced March last turn, so he's not even recruiting. Manford is in Eshen trying to recruit, but it's just him. Oh, right, it's him plus, like, this is going to be a hero or a regiment of renown. Or some crappy unit he raised with raised dead. So that looks like a good use of my newly recruited Arachnox spiders here. Uh, let's have a look at this. Bonus versus large. Um, I think the melee defense is a bit of a weakness for these spiders. I mean, we're up against almost all melee stuff on the chaos side. They do have some large units as well, but yeah, I think I'll go for the scrap barding. So because no one can attack Temple Half next turn, may as well come over here and hit this. Yeah, we can auto resolve this no problem at all. Just looking at no Eshen. No. What's my public order here like? It's not great. The tribe's ready. Yeah, this army's gonna be ready. Oh, I can actually finish it next turn. Just have enough global slots to get us up to 20. That's good. Do I actually want Eshen right now? I feel like... 
feel like the answer is no. I'd rather just sack this and come back to Temple Half, even if that means force marching. I mean, Eshin's going to need rebuilding. So, yeah, let's just blow this up. And, yeah, nice drink of money, actually, as well. Plus a channeling staff. Uh, yeah, kind of crappy trait from defeating Manfred, but what can you do? I could occupy it, I guess. No. Eh, no, I don't think it really gives me any advantage. So you come back here. Yeah, probably got to here's a bit of a problem. Corruption, yeah, corruption. We will get rid of the vampire corruption soonish. Sylvania have very little left. It's just these three settlements. Okay, I think I want to have Stitch up come and stand here. We can raid Needling. That way we're not raiding ourselves. We can. Oh, actually, make a lot of money. Nice. So this way, if a Chaos Army like Force Marches down to the river, we can potentially have these two stacks come fight them. I don't think that'll be necessary though. I think more likely next turn we can just come for Needling. In fact, we can actually stand closer, I think. Yeah, I think this positioning's good. Oh, uh, this is a new hero, or a hero who came back from being wounded. Alright, well... What do I want you to do? I think just scout up in this direction. We have to bear in mind the second bigger Chaos Invasion with Archeon. But I think we can still go for a bit of a land grab up here to the north. Take territory that uh, Chaos has blown up. How much territory do these guys have left? Five. Yeah, just very hard to tell who has what, because there's two, there's both them and Mulder up here. Like, Mulder have a lot. Yeah, Mulder, well, not as many as they used to, but Mulder have seven. I think Clan Mulder must have been the target of some of the Chaos attacks. Alright, well, I think this situation's actually good, unless the other three Chaos stacks are sort of up here and, and show up, but... No sign of that. It would be awesome if they wiped out Triker. I just find it such an annoying faction to deal with. Okay, so that's those two armies moved. Uh... I guess I can, I might as well just sort out this recruitment right now. So I have five melee gobos, I'm going to have five arachnoic spiders. I think I'm just going to go full archers. The archers are effective against the chaos troops with the armor piercing upgrade, provided, um, you know, we can actually hold them, hold them in place with other stuff. Okay, great. Now, over this way, public order has turned around. Hurrah! Let's see, so is that, what is that from? Oh, we encountered a new faction, okay. Let's just take care of that right now. Don't know what prompted that, but... Norska. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> the Mung is still alive, wow. A timely arrival. That's crazy, I feel like I see the Mung wiped out in every campaign by uh, Nagarand. No, that's not going to work. Um, sort by race. Marauders all. Mung have actually taken a third territory. Yeah, it's wild that this faction's still alive. Nagarand. Speak. Oh, Nagarand are in trouble. Yeah, they've got a, they've got a lot of troops though. They're actually stronger than us, but they only have six settlements. That's hilarious. So they must be just spamming out armies here, but struggling to hold off the high elves, and they've lost. Yeah, they've lost all of this. The Mung have taken Nagrand. Wow. Yeah, that's the first. I love these little things you see in the campaigns. It's like, I've commented on this a few times, but the fact that the Red Eye... Uh, sorry, not the Red Eye. The um, oh, the ones down at, like, Pig Barter. The, the Gobbo's down here. I guess I haven't actually technically encountered them. But anyway, the, the Goblin tribe here that's usually just fodder for... Uh, Clan Eshin actually survived and outlasted Clan Eshin in this campaign, which is awesome. Okay, so looking at this, military presence has only given me four points. Characters is giving two. Yeah, so that's both off of Sour here. Um, so in principle, I can disband all these guys and free up, or yeah, take less of a hit on the supply lines, which I think I want to do. 
Unless I want him to come recolonize Wiesenberg. Uh, I'd actually... I think I'd rather just get a Lord in Dottenbach and do that in one turn. And disband Sauer. Yeah, the only other thing... I never gave this guy any boosts to Untainted, so he's not contributing to that. Oh yeah, we got the plus three technology, that's helping. Okay. Chaos Corruption's coming up by Osmosis. Right, that's... yeah, that's because... Needling is adjacent to more time, which has a Chaos Corruption. Okay. We will take Needling pretty soon. Oh, that's a consideration, actually. Yeah, that's a bit of an issue, because this is going to tank public order there. Um, so let's look at that. If I just occupy this, that's minus 10. Well, I think it's minus 15, including the provincial instability. So we'll be at... If I leave things as they are, we'll be at minus 88. But we'll get plus 6, plus 1, 2... Yeah, we get plus eight from the extra Fine. stack there. Yeah, we, we should be able to hold public order, but I need to keep this army around for one more turn. Is what I'm what I'm thinking. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, let's move some of our heroes over this way because yeah, we have some other armies showing up here, including Wolfric. So how far around can he get? Not very far. He needs to actually. Yeah, he, he has to come across here. It's really annoying that he's not at war with, with Reichland. Speak. I will yeah, that's, hear you now. <laughs> that's a little silly. Oh, well. So he's just coming for us and ignoring them. But what can you do? Alright. They've just got a pile of gobbers of booked Karak Asgaraz. But it is just pretty basic gobbos. So can we, can we come in here maybe using ambush dance? No, oh, that attrition's a bit awkward. If I, um... I mean, I could just walk in there and encamp. And let them attack me. I'm not sure how I feel about that. It is a lot of troops. We've got Skarsnick. We should still be fine, I think. If I accepted the little attrition and went into Ambush Dance here... Right, let's make this move. Okay. I just would much rather be the one making the attack. So yeah, let's do this. Uh, th yeah, this attrition seems okay. We're losing... We're losing like 3-4% of our troops. Yeah, I think we can live with that. One thing I can probably do is Lightning Strike a weaker stack here and get Replenishment off it before making the main attack at Karak Asgaras. Yeah, I, I think this works. Okay, so do I want to come over and try and block Wolfheart? Uh, yeah, Wolfric. Sure. I also have this hero. Okay, we can come and kill this guy, I think, no. Karaberg. Ah, oh, they've got extra Empire Knights from this. Okay. That's fine. I'm not, I'm not concerned about those dwarves. They aren't actually recruiting. Yeah, we know the Bretonians are going to be back, but provided I have someone in this vicinity, we do have intel on that. Okay, so how about this? I think these heroes are low enough level, it's not really worth trying to assassinate. We'll go for the 59% block on Wolfric. Okay. 
Lots of these heroes are getting close to immortality or have already made it, which is good. I think that's one thing. I was late to get the big bosses out just because they do require... No, this is not... Yeah, this is not really much of an army anyway. No mammoths or anything. Yeah. I was. It took a while to get the big bosses out because they do require the tier 4 settlements to increase the recruit capacity, but I think I have done a good job of leveling them up um, since then. Okay, so if we make the attack here at Karaburg, I can sack it and make it back to Altdorf. Let's just see... Yeah, I mean, there's no one who can really do anything about that. I refuse such orders. Yeah, no other troops up this way. We could even come and occupy this. Not possible. Or sack and then occupy. Have to have to think about Nordland. Um, where are we here, Nordland? So yeah, Middenheim is there. They probably have a stack. Ah, oh, but they have Chaos Armies incoming. Yeah, they have Chaos or Skaven right here. I can't see... Yeah, the chose Untainted. Not what... Not what the other corruption is. Okay, well the walls are outdoor at full strength. Yeah, I think, I think I can make this attack and sack and then occupy. I'm just really keen to make more money. We're going to be paying more and more and not keep with our Arachnoic Spiders that we're recruiting. Yeah, we'll fight this manually. Uh, they do have quite a lot of cavalry. They also have the rocket batteries and the mortars. We can probably waste the armor on those. Oh, wait a second. We're a little down in strength here. No, uh, it looks... F no, it's fine. It's fine. It's just mainly this one didn't heal. Okay. Yeah, how do I want to deploy for this? Oh, I'm not loving this battlefield. Okay, maybe this side is better. Yeah, I think I'm gonna... Hmm. I was gonna say I'll corner camp over here, but... The terrain's good against... You know, bad for their knights, but it's also not great for my archers. They've got, I think, five units of knights total. Yeah, it's an annoying number. I mean, we could deploy down here, but blah, it doesn't... I don't know, I think this hill is... This hill would be good if it wasn't for the artillery. Okay, well... Definitely want to deal with their artillery first. I think I can... I think I'll do this. I'll start off deployed down this hill. Yeah, I actually don't mind having the weak unit in the middle, because I think our flanks are going to be under pressure here. Yeah, this is where having so many... Um, so many archers for the number of melee guys is a bit of a liability, maybe. Alright, uh, sure, start deployment. Actually, let's have you on to. Okay. And yeah, Pogrub's well, got all his goodies. Yeah, train's really up and down here. All of our army's actually hidden, except for Pogrub. So I guess they deployed all the way back along here in kind of a long line. Yeah. 
Right, okay. But where is the artillery? Handgunners. Here we go, alright. Oh, I think what I... I might have... Hmm. I might have slightly messed this up because I think they're trying to find my other troops rather than just being switched off at the beginning of the battle. Hard to say. Those crossbowmen didn't... Crossbowmen are just straight up facing the wrong way. Oh, there's a mortar. Okay. Okay, well... Yeah, I don't know. Not sure quite what to make of the what the enemy are doing here. I do want to see if I can get in, bait them into firing their rocket batteries at me. So what normally happens when you're the attacker is the AI is sort of just switched off until you attack them, which I think is what's happened. Although I feel like there's still a right guard unit that headed down this way. Maybe not. No, I guess not. Okay. Alright, so yeah, we can stand up here. Oh, they're just... Okay, I guess we should stay still. Let them sort themselves out. Man, that's a big clump of stuff I'd love to drop magic on top of, but... I actually don't know where their... rocket battery is. Over here, maybe? Can we not see? Oh, yeah, no, we're not... We're not at the top of the hill. We also... I don't really want to be shooting. Oh, man. Now I've just turned them out. Activated their army. <laughs> okay, there's the rocket battery. Well... That's fine. Yeah, I think I've actually just turned their army on, though. So they're just going to be coming at us. Uh, well... Okay, I mean, hmm. I think I'm not going to be able to sneak this unit around the, the back to get at the artillery, but I guess I'll slowly pull back with Bog Grub. Yeah, they're definitely coming for me. Maybe I should have Bog Grub. No, the thing is, we can't really outrun their cav with Bog Grub. I was going to say I could have him swing all the way around the other side. Speed 61, yeah. Empire Knights are not very fast, but they are faster than Bogrub. Okay, Crossbowmen are heading over there. Why don't you hide yourselves? Because I don't necessarily need to waste all the ammo of their artillery at the beginning of the battle. All I need to do... Let's see if I can make this unit retreat. Yeah, okay. All I need to do is make it so that they're isolated and I can potentially go for them with the Spider Riders, which does seem to be the case. Although, yeah, they've kept some units back. Yeah, I can't really afford to have my... Okay, yeah, we've got a clear run at the Hellstorm Rocket Battery. That's like the main thing we need to take care of. I, I may as well also be casting magic, of course. Yeah. We're on top of the rocket battery crew, we're gonna kill them. I need to keep an eye on these ones though, because we will take damage. Okay, you can move on this flank. Yeah, we need to spread ourselves out more here. Uh, yeah. Who are these? Rice guards. Okay. Yes, okay, they're shattered. Nice. We didn't take too much damage doing it. Um, okay, I think, yeah, just just get out of there right now. I've got to focus on stuff over here, obviously. It's got to slow down here. So they're getting their, they're sending the cabin a bit piecemeal, which is good. Yep, yeah, that's okay. 
fine with Bug Whip taking a bit of damage here. Let's get this down on these ones. I don't think they have too many small arms fire units. They've got a couple here. Look at this unit sneak around. They've still got some cavern reserve up there. Alright. Yeah, let's get this down on you guys. Are we getting hit by Mortifier now? Oh, looks like we might be. I should probably just take on those crossbowmen in melee, thinking about it. Okay, we've got knights charging into us here, but... That's, that's fine. Do a melee attack debuff here. This down on these ones. Actually, just just try and bypass the crossbow and come all the way around. I think. Right, you focus on these. You just get into them and get this bloater down. It's a bit low on health, but we should still be able to handle these rocks good. I think they're on force march because they're part of the actual army. Let's do that. Yeah, my infantry hasn't taken much much damage. In fact, yeah, we want to just advance now. I think we'll try and get in missile uh, in range of their their missile troops. Okay, so what's happening over here? Hmm. Let's see if we can deal with those war wagons. Ah, uh, no, probably not. Just better off coming down this this direction. Okay, we saw off those rights guard. Great. Yeah, we're getting shot up a little bit over here, but we've routed most of their front line. Yeah, I think we can come just fire on them. Swordsmen, crossbowmen, yeah. Alright, well I didn't handle the artillery in the way I was hoping to. Oh, wait a second, we're getting a bit... We're getting a bit wrecked over this way. Yeah, it's, it's alright though. There's this one unit that's sort of gotten behind our lines, but that's it. Yeah, a lot of the stuff here is routing. Ragnarok Spider, yeah, got on top of these units, they're going to route. Okay, I think it's all fine. Yeah, these crossbowmen are going. Yeah, I think they're close to just breaking in general. Yeah, spider Riders actually did a good job. I, I really thought they'd stick a cavalry unit on them because they had so many. But they actually just let them um, take out the rocket battery and then, yeah, just kind of do whatever else I wanted. Alright, we are getting hit by the mortars. That sucks, obviously. Yeah, the center is broken. Let's get after them. Okay, they're shattered. Looks like... Okay, that's the army losses. Alright, nice job. Yeah. This is the big thing. That could have been a lot worse if this number was... higher. <laughs> to state the obvious. Not sure what actually got their other kills for them. I think a couple of the cavalry units in the garrison must have, because these right guard did not do much. Yeah, this one unit got 50. Okay. Nice, and that was over 6k just for the battle results. Then we get another 19 from the sacking. Alright. Now, come back to Altdorf or just occupy this? That's the question. What about Reichland's armies? Orcs, come before me. Be careful what you say, beast. Or yeah, they. Marshal will have your tongue. They actually don't have the stuff up here because that's Nordland. So do I have vision? 
I wonder if I have vision of somewhere where there is military presence, where I can actually know where this little red bar is. So eight settlements. I'm seeing one, two, three, four, five. Six, the black pit. Oh, it actually... And, oh, Beesman's here. It actually makes sense for them to be recruiting out of the black pit because that's a major settlement. And I... They don't have military presence in Marienburg, which is interesting. Oh, they have this as well. Right, so maybe I didn't count that. So one, two, three, four, five, six, plus the black pit, plus what else? Hmm. Wait, why is it showing Balthazar Gel over here? I think that's just a bug. Yeah. Oh, hold on. How did this army... Alright, hold on. I need... Yeah, I need to sort this out. This silly crooked moon army gave us the slip. And ended up down at Festus Spike. Oh, they must have gotten past us with the underway. Okay, so this is like the other part of... This is the other part of, uh, what's his name's forces? Skarsnik. Hmm. Well, first of spikes not too important. The thing that's a bit annoying about this is I don't have an army that can clean them up. Alright, let's just make this decision with Bogrub first. I think I'm concluding that no one's going to punish me from for occupying Karaberg, even if I don't end up holding it. Okay, so that gave us vision of... Black Pit. Ah, Military Presence 20. Okay, nice. So that basically narrows down where their last stack is. And I now have vision of all the places they could be recruiting. Yeah, that really helps. Okay, and Sack and Occupied, but we still took this at rank 3. That's really good. Yeah, Wolfric's not going anywhere. Not that he wants to fight us with this, or he shouldn't do. Okay, and we are replenishing... Yeah, we're going to just be a little short on health. Definitely didn't lose too much health on the Arachnoite, which is good. Okay, so I think we've dealt with everything up this way. I could recruit a Lord in Festa Spike. Because this is just a mass of crap. Well, gubbos, which is what we've had, so I guess I can't really call it crap. But yeah, they have a low rank general. They do have these heroes hanging out that they could bring in to help. The trouble is our garrison here... Yeah, garrison's not going to be able to hold. But if I recruited a lord, I think I might be able to win this. They don't have much in the way of missile troops. Yeah, so the question is how much do I... Yeah, how much do I set myself back financially from doing that? I mean, I've, I think I should do that. It's only over one end turn. And I only actually pay the extra upkeep if that Lord lives, right? Because if he gets wounded or dies in this battle, then by the time the next turn comes around, we'll be back down to 12 armies from 13 or whatever. So yeah, that looks like a good thing to do. Yeah, not somebody at rank 2. Big Bully or Torturer. Well, it doesn't matter too much. I guess Torturer is slightly better at... Just straight up fighting, which is going to be relevant. Nasty magic. Nasty magic. Yeah, that increased uh, upkeep costs by a fair amount. Um, so I'll go for this, but I don't need the, the gobbos because he's not going to have any actual troops with him. Yeah, Lord's Army, that, that bonus unfortunately doesn't do much for us either. Let's go for this and this. I don't know that I really care to put a point into Immortality. We can certainly get all this stuff. Yeah, in fact, we can probably just max out... Um, max out magic, because I don't need these points at all. What I... Okay, what I probably should do is recruit troops here. Just so I can finish off the army if we do attack and beat it. But if we... I don't know. If we attack and beat it, they can't really do anything to us. Like, they can't threaten another settlement. 
Oh, I guess I lost the option to undo any of these skills by, by coming off the skills menu, but it's still fine. We've got eight more level ups. We don't need this. Yeah, this isn't going to help us because we're just fighting alongside the garrison who don't technically count as being the same army. We don't need this. Yeah, we just have a lot of spare points, which is obviously fine. We could get to... Yeah, we could put stick points, six points in here to get this for the leadership buff. That's actually probably worth doing. I really don't need a second point in Sneaky Stab, and that's extra... Extra armor piercing damage against the army we're fighting is not relevant. I don't need this. So yeah, let's do that. So we will put points in the gobbos, the big lads, and then get back here. Oh, if I'd spent... If I hadn't gotten this, I could have actually got smash them faster. Oh well, yeah. Yeah, I spent too many points. Alright, it's not it's not a big deal. And this last point can be that one, sure. Okay, so we'll see what happens here. If this lord dies and we lose the settlement, you know, whatever. We can put up more of a fight this way, though. That This is such a one-dimensional army. I'm optimistic we can do something. Like, we're either going to... I think we can either win or weaken them substantially with even the 12 units plus the lord we just recruited. So, yeah. We'll see what happens. All right, and this situation, yeah, that explains why the, there's fewer troops here. Because I did see this stack before, and they just got past me somehow at Karaknorn. I even tried to set an ambush for them, but Gobbo's too sneaky. All right, let's just go ahead and yeah, rotate through. Yeah, we know there's more Bretonian armies heading down south here. These guys are both in Force March, that's great. Let's not worry too much about this lady. So... Okay, I think we want to do something similar to what we did over the last turn. Do I have... Oh, I don't have magic at all on you, okay. And this is looking pretty good. Region is tempestuous. Okay, in that case, let's go for a second point in Bad Moon. We could actually attack them this turn, but I don't think that's necessary, certainly until we've looked at the hero actions. So, By all that I hold dear. let's look at the chances here. 61%, alright. 60%, okay, let's go for 61%. That's going to be our best bet. We succeeded. Nice. Now, I can... Do I even want to try and block the other army? I think I'm fine if they want to come in a bit closer. We can have these armies in ambush stance. Yeah, we're a little damaged, but we're replenishing... This works pretty well. We can fight them next turn. Do you take me for a child? But he might just come in and attack Tabaro, so sure. What we could make the block attempt here. Yes. No, it's only 48%. Okay. Oh, that succeeded too. Well, maybe a... Maybe I sort of... Uh, oops. Didn't mean to clear that. Maybe I, I, I outthought myself a little there, because now their armies are going to be stuck together within reinforcing range, but I, I think that's okay. So yeah, let's just come stand. I am a lord of Bretonia. Never. Well, this guy can actually still move quite a ways. Okay. So maybe, maybe I can still bait them in here. Let's look at that movement again. I must keep my holy vow. Yeah, we don't want to actually ambush him over the end turn, but what I do want to do... Ah, oh, we lose replenishment from doing this, though. It's not too bad. Nasty magic's ready. Me. Yeah, I think this is good. 
look as weak as possible. They'll just see Tabaro with 14 unit garrison, which is certainly not enough to repel this. So hopefully they split up their armies and they just have this guy come march over here. And I, I don't want to ambush him over the end turn, but on my next turn I want to just basically smash him. Alright, yeah, just being really patient here. I don't need to risk me my armies, and we did need to keep healing on, on the spiders there, so yeah. Like I said, I think it's worked out well. Alright, we should also merge some of these units. Maybe I should do it right now, even though I don't think we're being attacked over the end turn. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so Vicious Bone Cruncher was chasing after these dwarves, but unfortunately kind of gave us the slip and I'm making it down to Karakzil. Maybe I should recruit a Lord here as well. Yeah, it's getting to tier 3 in one turn. Ah, oh, dwarves, why you do this? I can't stop him from making that attack. What does he have again? Okay, it's two units of Slayers. Alright, I think I can definitely hold this if I recruit a Lord here. Just make absolutely sure I don't want to recruit a Lord somewhere else too, because I do only have the other one available at like rank 24. Yeah, these other ones are all a lot weaker. Yeah, let's just see if we can get through our other movement. I don't think there's other uh, armies that are going to do any attacking, but I'm, I might be wrong. Um, we don't really need to block these armies. I mean, they're also not imminently... Like, uh, they're not going to be coming at us within a couple of turns. They need to travel further. So, yeah, I mean, they're not, they're not far from, from, like, here, but... It will take them a few turns to get through, so I'd rather just discover other territories so we can keep an eye on the military presence. Let's get stabbing. Yeah, Corona is shaping up to be one of our just go. adversaries in the late parts of this campaign, I guess. Oh, okay. Did not expect this to be actual ruins. I thought this game would be here. The downside is I don't have the cheat sheet up for this puzzle, so oh, I just guessed and got lucky. Well. Doesn't make too much difference. Oh, a Gulbaranta. That's a good one. I want to give that. Uh, you probably don't need it. Still mystified by the Chaos Armies in this direction, by the way. What's this? Oh, this is a war marker from some faction that's since gotten wiped out. Yeah, it's just a bug, I guess. Let's give that Untainted plus three to one of our boys over this way. Now oh, you've already got one. Yeah. There we go. Get some of that corruption down. Alright. Back to you. And then on to Musk. Okay. Yeah, so we took Misty Mountain. These guys have Crad Tommen, and then the three regions a mile away down here. Right. I think I've come far enough south with Musk right now. We need to finish off these stupid uh, or deal with these silly blue vipers. Yeah, we can't stop them attacking Spike Peak. This I cannot defend. Yeah. So let's just go ahead and cancel that. And it'll it'll fall. Public order's fine. Yeah, we can retake it. And we can come deal with this. What you want? Although I think the Lizardman might. I maybe shouldn't have blocked the Lizardman. That's not great. Sh well, I guess it doesn't matter. Surprised that assassinate wasn't higher. It might. It, oh, it may just right. It may just be because we did a hero action assassinate last turn. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and down here. Was I not recruiting? Oh, I must have just straight up forgotten to recruit replacement units for my... for Rachnik when I conquered Kemri. That's pretty bad. 
Okay, remember to repair the buildings. Yeah, all right. Well, that's what happens when there's a lot going on. Just stuff slips my mind. They have troops somewhere. Don't see them. I'm not worried about the Sentinels. I, even though we're at war with them, I don't think they're going to come attack me. Yeah, military presence is 20. They've still got at least one of their stacks there. Oh, hold on. We've already got this hero coming into Zandri. Right, well, maybe you should head more just like west, southwest then. Yeah, aha. Uh -huh. Good. Okay. Yeah, this is what I wanted you to keep an eye on. Oh, this doesn't look dangerous at all. Okay. So, Ragnik's just going to stay put and heal up. Yeah. I should have uh, done those recruitment last turn, but it's not going to matter. Okay, and you... Uh, I think you can head back in this way, or maybe even take out this Never. wood elf. Yes, boss. Yeah. I'll take him out, boss. Nah. Certainly nothing good happens from leaving their heroes just wander around and level up, that's for sure. Okay, I must have missed my army that was recruiting arachnoid spiders out in the east. Oh, I also missed this guy. Right. Just go. I guess these are just ruins. It's, it's interesting because those are green terrain for us, so those would not be bad to colonize. I really don't know what's happening out here further in the east. We've got the Skaven here as a kind of buffer. I've got vision of Knights of Kalidor in Darkhold, but I don't know. Yeah, no idea what's happening. Don't know what happened to Mala's Dark Blade either. Let's get stabby. Yeah, we didn't encounter anybody new from, from coming this way. Oh well, well, we'll find out. I really don't think anyone in this corner of the world out in the east can be too strong. Yeah, this was the army I was wondering about. So two more turns on those, okay. And not clear what these gobbers are going to do, but... Presumably come after us, but yeah, we're just staying put for now. Alright, and you can come back up to Nashrek's lair. Of course, the Skaven here are still at war with the Gobbos. Alright, I think that is everything sorted out, and I don't need new armies anywhere. Nope, yet another hero to move, okay. Do I not do you? I guess I didn't. Get going. On it. Yeah, it looks like Agrol Midhal is actually safe-ish. Alright, so this is just Sour. So he's staying here for the public order. Yeah, because we need to pad it. Because we're going to lose more when we take Needling. And I don't need to recruit another Lord anywhere. So let's recruit that Zarekzil. Big bully. Yeah. And let's actually do the level up. I should have done on that other lord and actually get as far as smash him faster. That extra melee attack is definitely going to help against these dwarves. This doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. And we still get two more points or that we need. And this, I guess. Yeah, this is yeah, I'm not sure of that. Okay, this is what I should have done in that first Lord. It, it's fine, though. So now I'm confident I can hold this off. Of course, they can just still be annoying and run somewhere else. Um, maybe with that in mind, I should just force march right into their faces. Yeah. Let's just force march right up here. We might block them from getting out. No, they can still get out this way. Yeah. Oh, whatever. This army's not much to write home about either, but we can still beat them even on I first march. They've just got so this. little. Alright, and we're minus 35k here. Yeah, I mean, that's only going to be the case for a turn, so I can live with it. Alright, with that we can skip. The moot can be upgraded. Alright. And we have two surplus points here, so Gorgazan. Yeah, I mean... Outside of these navies that don't come and attack us, we're doing a good job of holding 
holding this area generally. I mean, no one's... We're going to see the High Elves again coming by ship, but probably not until we retake uh, Magritta. Okay, damage building. Yeah, Karaberg. <coughs> oh, sorry about that. Um, we don't really need that. Let's just go for this. Spike Peak. Yeah, that's doomed. Okay. Let's just check for other upgrades and stuff to build real quick. This now has walls, that's nice. Too bad we weren't able to hold on to the, the two in the south, but we will be back. Black Crag finished this, that's awesome. Yeah, Zufbar. Ah, why do I have two empty slots here? I don't know. Well, this pays itself so quickly, I'll throw gold into that, I guess. Yeah, Drakenhaus fine. Lots of these are not changing turn to turn here. Okay, this is going to get to tier 3 in a l little while. I don't think this is going to be a place where the Chaos Army is really coming to attack, to be honest. So it should be fine. Yeah, really just looking for places where I can upgrade defenses. But we're in good shape, I think. Okay, Camry, what do we need here? Public order is actually fine. Ah, oh, this. Excellent. Yeah, that makes too much money to not build right away. We don't need any of this stuff. Yeah, it can just wait. Walls up in Steingart. Yep, yeah. and Zvorak. That's all good. Yep, yeah, next turn I can start that upgrade. Assuming we hold Karakzil, which, yep, yeah, I'm confident we can do. This gets to tier 4. That's great. Ah, let's get that up to tier 4. I don't think... No, we're still one over on the hero capacity. Altdorf. Um, anything worth building here? I th think I will go for that growth just because we do need... It would be great to get this back up to tier 4 as fast as possible. Yep, things are going very nicely down here. And everything's fine into Burrow and Skaven Blight. And nothing urgent there. Ah, here. Walls. And public order should be fine. Yeah. The geography of these regions always confuses me. Like, this is. These are all, th these three are part of the same region, as is Death Gorge, which is here. So, okay, it's those four. Yeah, I'm hoping we can hold on to Miss Mountain. We'll, we'll see. If they if these guys raise an army quickly, they could potentially get over here before most can get back, but meh. Alright, Monk Gumbad looks like. Oh, it already was at tier four, so what do I want here? Um, do I not have. I never had growth here? That's weird. Maybe I deleted it by mistake. Yep, Spike Peak we're effectively abandoning. Alright, and that's back to the beginning. Okay. So, yeah, I think that is all looking fine. We'll have to just see how many of these armies with the extra Arachnoroks and stuff we can sustain after Chaos is sorted out, but I'm Happy enough with how it's all going. We have how many? 14 armies. Alright, that includes two lords that are just temporary. Or sort of three if you include this one. Okay. And let's just see. Am I... So Stalin's the only place I'm not taxing. Yeah, that's correct. Good. And the quest is to assassinate that wood elf hero who... Yeah, I don't even know where they are. They may have been the one I tried to assassinate, actually, so... D -d 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 equipment gained. No, I don't think any of that matters too much. Alright, next turn. See if that army moves out of Karak Asgal. I guess they're still recruiting, though. 
Yeah. You want a peace treaty? Yep. Yeah. Noctilus only survives because no one's interested in coming down to uh, deal with him. Oh, well, this is a problem. Yeah, sadly we don't have the walls up to defend here. And we don't have any garrison at all, even. Yuck. Yeah, we can't win this. Okay, well. F's for sour. This is gonna. This is not making our public order problems any better, by the way. But yeah, all right. Can't do anything about that. Yeah, I could have had a, a hero scouting to the north. I didn't think there was an extra little empire army up there, but I guess they came down from Telebackland or Talapheim. Yeah. All right. Mm. Okay, but they're heading back up north. Okay. And Carl is here. Okay. That army did not look too strong to me. And that's the army that they had up at the Black Pit. Yeah. Yeah. Now, this is going to be an interesting battle. Yeah, too bad some of their units gained Silver Chevron experience before it. Okay, so... We want to corner camp and focus our missile fire and use our Lord, who is faster than all their stuff on his spider, to run around and cause as much damage as possible. And I've got night goblins, and I've got two units of nasty skulkers. Yeah, I'm just bearing in mind the units that can stalk, but it's only the three units of night goblin archers that are actually ranged. So we actually have more ranged stuff than they do. Okay, uh, probably does not matter on this map. No, it does not matter at all which corner we start in. Oh, we also have the wolf riders. Right, okay. Yeah, we can probably use them somewhat effectively here just because the enemy do not have any fast units at all. Yeah. So we don't want to... Yeah, we want to just leave them off to the flank, like something like this, I think. Yeah, so decent amount of magic here. We can get in and get this down, it's going to do a reasonable amount of damage to them. Yeah, okay. So, right at the beginning, just get back to the corner. Probably just have my melee guys on guard mode. Yeah, so one thing is I will have to micromanage the wolf riders, because I don't want them getting stuck in melee, even with basic gobos. They have so many troops clumped up here, though. Should do a lot of damage. I think I just want to run all the way around them. Like, force them to the side, wherever to just chase after my lord, or to actually go for my troops. Back in that corner. So these these guys are all in vision, so they can see where the rest of my army is. But I think this way I can uh, split them up. Now, we are going to find their... Yeah, I was going to say, we're going to see their archers here. That's fine, they're not going to do too much damage to us. Yeah, so we're just going to wait until the cooldown on this comes back up. No point casting these other spells just yet. And we can get the Wolf Riders in position to go after their archers. Yeah, I'm not sure where their nasty skulkers are, but that's fine. These units obviously sort of just wandered out of position, chasing us. I'd rather actually hit their archers with this. So let's wait for them to show themselves again. I know they're in here somewhere. 
114 kills already off that one cast. That uh, that bodes well. Really wanting to clump up, obviously. Oh, that's a unit of melee night goblins. Okay, there there are their archers. Okay. Hmm. Do too much, is it? Oh no, no, it did. No, oh, that was nice, actually. Yeah, pretty good hit. Yeah, this is what I wanted. That the army just really split apart, and they actually can't cast our fast troops. Uh, can't catch our fast troops. Now the question is, can our boys over here handle even a few units coming at them? And the answer, I think, should be yes. Can also can also fight. Now these units have been running around a while. Let's just let them rest. The enemy are probably going to tie themselves out a little bit. Not quite. Okay. Well, not yet. Yeah, I can't. Well, not not a big clump of stuff to drop this on top of. Let's see if I can kind of corral them over this way. There's also their lord I could go after. Uh, hmm. You know what? I think we've. I don't think we need to fight the units here at all. I think we can just run back past them and join up with our main army. Oh, that's a good hit as well. Yeah, it's wounded up a little bit though. Yeah, let, just let these units hang out here. Okay, they do have more soldiers here, though. They've got Night Gobble Archers. Okay, let's focus fire on... Let's make sure you're actually shooting something. And you're in range to shoot something. Okay, we can probably deal with this, especially... with our fast guys coming over. Yeah, you, you focus fire... You focus fire on them, just route them first. We can survive in melee for a little while, even though we're only crappy garrison troops. Yeah, that unit's gonna break, so let's maybe change target to this one. We can just come in and mop up this. This is just a shaman, it's not gonna be too dangerous in melee. Just get the spell down to slow these ones down a bit. Yep, this went well. Good. Get this debuff down. Because these other units, yeah, they're, they're coming in, but... They're not going to make it by the time we've dealt with their first wave here. Alright, that also helps. Yeah, I think I actually will go for their Lord. Breaking him would, would definitely help a little. No, maybe I should just charge him for the back of those gobbos, yeah. Alright, they're wavering, come on, break them. Yeah, broken, okay, good. So, you three fire a volley into them. They're just going to run off the battlefield, that's great. These ones are wavering as well. Okay, yeah, they definitely have leadership issues. Now, we did lose quite a lot of our front line, sadly. Yeah. Let's just have you reform. Movement debuff here, and then as soon as that comes down, drop this on them. Should do a lot of damage. Yeah, you can just run after them, I think. Now it wasn't quite as good as I'd hoped. Oh well. Yeah, so this is a sort of bigger second wave. Yeah, they're hitting us up a lot over here. I think I probably need my, my lord to actually just stand on the front lines and fight. You keep come, keep running around. Yeah, run away from the nasty skulkers. Don't think there's any need at all for fighting them. Let's give a melee debuff to these ones. Yeah. 
don't need a leadership buff just yet. Archers, focus fire. Oh, this unit's gonna need help. Yeah, just get into them as well, I think. Put this down on you. I think this is going okay-ish so far, though. Yeah, you keep running around. Get that going. Ugh. I'm not sure. I'm doing enough damage to them. We've almost routed this unit. We've got lots of arrows left, at least. But this unit's about to break. Yeah, that unit routed. Okay. Need more help in the middle. Get another melee debuff down. Should get another while pretty soon here. Alright, you come in and deal with them. Ah. Silly orcs. Silly orcs not staying and fighting like their gobbo brethren. Well, we punted their lord like way over that way, but that doesn't actually achieve much. <laughs> Okay, that's, yeah, that unit routed. Yeah, this unit's going to be close enough to, to route. Yeah, this is a problem, though. I'm just going to cast this on top of my own troops. Or, it, I know it's going to hit my own troops. Got the wow again, okay. Let's focus on these ones. That did a lot of damage. Yeah. Slow you down. Uh, you've ended up in melee with something you shouldn't have. Oh, things are maybe going a little badly for us here. Come on, guys, I need you to hold. Yeah, there's nice. There's. Ah, oh, cavalry. Ended up in the wrong place. Okay, melee debuff, I think we need it up here. It's all our magic used up, though, pretty much. Okay, we need to change, we need to focus fire on something over this way because they've broken through. Yeah, we've just lost the whole of our melee line. Still got our archers, still have these ones over here fighting. We still have our lord who's taking a beating but his leadership's dropping. Yeah, I'm thinking we've maybe lost, well their leadership's low as well though. We have lost a lot of our army. We didn't manage to kill their general. Alright, you're out of ammo. Okay. Well, get stuck in. Alright, you can come in here. Yeah, I think about Lord routes, unfortunately, it's going to be very bad for us. Although, we've got these abilities coming up in just a few seconds. I don't want to cast this, I think this is just going to be a bit of a waste. Oh, their leadership's so low as well. Come on, hold! Hold, hold, hold! One more Wind of Magic to cast this, okay. Okay, we actually, yeah, we pushed them off the battlefield. Yeah, you keep shooting. Alright, that doesn't, this doesn't matter too much. I think we're maybe doing it. They've lost so much of their army. Ah, oh, their leaderships though, it's not... Alright, their lords, their lords routed, okay. Good. That is a start for the, to the rest of the army routing for sure. Yeah, route that unit. Nice. He's just off the battlefield. Okay, good. That gives him a bit of a leadership debuff, at least temporarily, that we might be able to exploit. We're actually doing okay on leadership there. I think that unit's going to break. I think we just need to... Yeah, we can sort them out here. This unit uh, broke. Okay, get into the back of these ones. Yeah, we just have to... Let our... Uh, I don't know. I'm not sure how we're going to deal with those nasty skulkers. Shoot them, I guess. Yeah, they got the debuff down in our, our, our um, wolf riders to slow them down, unfortunately. So now we just have a big war in over here. And then that's that's all they have, right? Yeah. Okay. Winnable, I think. No, those ones have shattered. These ones are wavering. No, I think we did it. Oh, that was a real scrap. A oh, pretty fun battle, though. Yeah, see if we can kill a few more of them before they get off the battlefield. Yeah, look at the number of kills on these archie units, like 200, 200. 500 kills on my lord, oh, that's awesome. 
Yeah, I thought the Lord would be enough to make the difference, and it was, but only just. Well, considering the odds at the beginning of the battle, can't complain about that. Sadly, none of our wolf riders survived to assist in running these ones down. Yeah, we're not going to catch them. That did not seem to do a lot to the nasty skulkers. <laughs> Maybe get another one in. Now we're shooting a couple of them with the uh, troops on the harder at least. And we get another one of those on. Okay. Alright, we're going to catch up with them. Don't know why I'm clicking this. It doesn't give us a melee boost, but whatever. Alright, we killed one. <laughs> good, good. Alright. Yeah, Pirate Victory, eh, whatever. They're not going to have enough to attack us again. Quite a few of their units will be wiped out. Their Lord's, their Lord escaped but is low health. We get to replenish on our turn. We have the option as well of just launching a suicide attack into the rest of his army just to kill even more of it before I disband this Lord. Although... Yeah, we'll have to just see what, what state our garrison's in. Oh, that was a fun fight. I do like these little, like, garrison plus lord defense battles once in a while. I think, I, I think the corner camping and trying to split their army up worked. We clearly couldn't have taken them on if they've all come in at us at the same time. No, oh, we didn't wipe out too many of their units, actually. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hmm... All right, well, take the replenishment. Okay, and they backed off all the way down there. <laughs> Imagine if they'd added the two heroes into Rami. It's like, do you not think that would have been worth doing, say, before the battle that you just narrowly lost? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so let's see what these two Bretonian armies are doing. Coming in? No, not really. Well, that's fine. They're not getting any stronger while they're stuck in my territory, and I am replenishing. So, who's getting blown up? Waldenhof by the looks of it. Oh no, oh I s oh they're coming in to attack the Skaven, I see. Yeah, so the Skaven retreat. But, okay, but this army, they can kill this army now. But this army, they, they probably can't move this one. Yeah, okay, so this one's dead. No, this, this army actually took a little bit of damage, not bad. And they're taking Van Patrician. This army... Oh yeah, we blocked them. Oh, they didn't even blow up Essen. Okay. We blocked this one too. Yeah, okay, we've really managed to stall the Chaos Advance. Oh, they managed to get out of... I see. Yeah, they managed to get out of... Uh... Well, the Skaven Suicide attacked them there, but... Actually took up most of the Chaos Boys, which is basically what I wanted to see. Like, I didn't care who won, as long as it was bloody. <laughs> I did see... Alright, I saw, I saw another army moving here. I have to go back and check. Clan Gritus, maybe. Right, we've got the Dwarves coming up here. Oh, they're coming in. Oh, no, they're not. They're just accepting doom. Oh, and the blue vipers didn't actually attack uh, Spike Pit or Spike Peak. I guess if they had, then 
Muzz would have just been able to reach them afterwards, was what happened. Huh. Okay. Rite of Awakening, yeah, that I'm fine with. I need to keep an eye on Rite of Primeval Glory, but... I don't care about them getting another slam. Yeah, this army's a little problematic. The recruiting... Oh, I see, yeah. Because I also don't have a hero here. I might have to have a hero come over here and try and block them. I mean, Stitch, I guess, could deal with it, but he has to... Oh, I want him to go to Needling first. Okay, so this army... Yeah, this th these guys lost most of their troops. They're also not in camp stance to replenish them straight away. These two are still at full strength, though. Okay. So what? where was that other... Oh, I know what it was. It was a Skaven army... Let me think about it. No! There's a Skaven army down here, I believe. From from uh, Richter's clan nest. Ah, so much going on. <laughs> All right. Well, this poor dude was like left behind by the uh, army. Yeah, they came. Okay, they came down to Misty Mountain. All right. Well, whatever. Oh, we can just underway hop into Misty Mountain though. Yeah. Okay. I think we can. We can definitely get close enough to reinforce. Yeah, so we can actually protect that, that's good. Yeah, we're kind of playing a game of cat and mouse with this silly army, but so it goes. Yeah, and these ones have, rec have recruited pretty quickly. All right, I think I'm gonna leave it at the start of this turn. I think managing one turn in a in a video is, is, is good. And my videos have been sort of creeping longer and longer unintentionally, so. Yeah, keep this one a little shorter. Alright, well, thanks a lot for watching, and see you for the next part.